Hi everybody, Karen Roby and Daphne Laprance Rangay here for ZDNet. We're talking about AR and VR and specifically how the technology is really changing things uh, in the enterprise, how we work. And I know one of the biggest changes, Daphne, that we're seeing really has to do with training. Talk about that a little bit. Yes, yeah, so a really exciting new report from PwC, really, um, which was forecasting that by 2030, the use of AR and VR in the workplace could lead to another $2 trillion to the global economy. So that, that means that it will change jobs. Um, AR and VR will change jobs so that will be more productive, more efficient, so the economy will grow. But what it means is that it will ultimately impact up to 23.5 million jobs, according to PwC. So that's 27 times as many jobs as currently. It means that it might radically change the way we work in some workplaces. And one of the most crucial aspects, as you're saying, is training. So it's quite obvious that if we start using smart goggles um, to train new staff, that could lead to more efficient training, faster training, by recreating scenarios um, without having to spend money on role play, for example. So smart goggles could sort of take new employees to um, a simulated presentation experience or public speaking experience or interview experience. Um, and sort of streamline the training process in that way. Um, one company is actually already implementing AR particularly for training purposes. So it's a software company called PTC and it sells to its customer a program called Vuforia Expert Capture. So the aim is to capture, in their own words, it's to capture the expertise of more experienced workers through AR so that um, it can transform that expertise into a sort of small snackable content for new work for new staff to learn faster um, by watching videos that are step-by-step -step instructions um, of what the the more experienced worker is doing when they are carrying out a task so the way to do that is that the worker puts on a smart um, goggle headset and they can record themselves as they carry out a specific task they can give voice instructions um, they can take pictures and then the, the software developed by PTC sort of generates a step-by-step -step explainer or tutorial for new staff to look at while wearing um, a, a headset and going through the AR platform. So in that way, it would be um, a very efficient method for new staff to learn faster and be more efficient in the way that they are trained, um, all of which could contribute to significant growth in the economy. Yeah, most definitely, Daphne. And I know um, there have been other uh, ways that we've talked about AR and VR changing uh, the way we work uh, besides training. What did, what did the study find there? Yeah, sure. So obviously, it would, VR and AR platforms can change uh, operations and processes within the enterprise at later stages of an employee's career, career as well, um, as well as in different industries. Um, so for example, designers could use AR and VR platforms to test and draw and change 3D prototypes before they actually create them. Um, in repair and maintenance, it could have significant, a significant impact as well. So say if you're an engineer or a technician working on an oil platform, for example, and there's a problem that you need to repair, you would be able to visualize the platform within an AR platform, um, within an AR platform, sorry, and identify the problem before you actually go out there and repair it. So that could be a significant, um, significantly cost saving. In manufacturing, it's an industry where it could have a significant impact as well because um, factory work is typically run between different types of machinery. They don't really have time to open a laptop to check key information. Whereas if they're wearing smart goggles, they could all of a sudden access all this information on an AR platform hands-free. So without using their hands, they'd be able to see machinery instruction, assembly instructions, or information on how to perform upkeep and so on. So that could lead to um, again, more efficiency and more productivity and make um, the, the workplace a lot more um, efficient in that way. Yeah, and Daphne, I know a lot of companies, of course, are already using AR and VR in ways like this, especially with the training is where we're seeing it. But, you know, as far as the timeline is concerned, when will this be more of, of the norm versus the exception in terms of the amount of companies in the enterprise that are using AR and VR? So the PwC report forecasts um, the, those sort of changes coming for 2030. So that gives us sort of baseline and idea of when we're likely to see more AR and VR in the workplace. But um, a good way to sort of 
predict when they will be when these technologies will be deployed at a larger scale is perhaps to look at the hardware that is already being used. So right now, an obvious winner is Microsoft, whose uh, HoloLens 2 is being widely adopted, well, at least adopted by those who are already implementing AR and VR. Uh, PTC, the software services company that I mentioned earlier, are certainly very enthusiastic about the capacity um, of the HoloLens 2. They have been saying that it's been a major change for them since they've been able to use the HoloLens in the workplace. Um, but of course, they are expecting a HoloLens 3 and a HoloLens 4, just like we're expecting upgrades in our smartphones. But for them, the technology is there. It's just a, a matter of packaging. More recently, we've had Google come into this field as well with smart glasses. Last May, they released a new set of, um, a new set of um, goggles, smart goggles. So again, it's sort of showing that big players are coming into this field and seeing an opportunity here. And it all leads to a, a forecast that we will be seeing AR and VR in the workplace, in the workplace a lot sooner rather than later. All right, some uh, exciting technology indeed, Daphne. Thank you so much for that. And for more on this study and Daphne's article, make sure you check out ZDNet.